Hey guys, Burrow Disney Studios here. So anyways, as you can see in front of me, I have the 7498 police station. It has 783 pieces and is recommended for ages 6 to 12. What would a review be if I did not start with the minifigures? Well, it wouldn't be a review, it would just be you. Yeah, I guess it would be a review. Oh well. Um, you get two robber guys. This guy has the basic face and the ski cap and the basic robber torso and some dark gray pants. This guy is new. Um, he's got this new face, which I like. It's got like a missing tooth in the middle there, and he's got funny eyebrows and a bit of a mustache. I realize he's out of focus, don't worry about that. Um, it's my camera. Too bad I didn't get a new camera for Christmas, haha. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Alright, um, you get a new, one of those brand new dogs. I like this dog, he's got printing on him. And let me get my other dog real quick. So, compare. Um, yeah, there's quite an obvious difference. This dog doesn't have any printing. He's dark brown. He's got a different shape for his nose. The each of his stud on top, though. That's good. Yeah, so... Who cares about that? This is the dog we like. Um, you get a police officer with the brand new curved white baseball cap. A Biscuitle Hossum face. Yeah, uh, I just said that. And he has a radio. And shiny badge and buttons. This is a new guy. Well, I guess he's not very new. The face isn't new. The hat's not new. The outfit's not new. He's pretty basic. He's got a beard. Yeah. Here's a girl police officer. She has a uh, flashlight with a black lightsaber handle and a yellow stud on the top. Irina Spock O'Hare, and she's got the shiny badge as well. Um, here's a detective guy, he's got that angry face, orange hair, and his torso is new, it's got a tie on it, shiny badge, and it says police on the back, black pants. Okay, that's enough of the figures. Guess we'll move on to the vehicles. Got this police car here. It's very nice. Um, it's got the one on it, just like the old one. And you can seat a figure in here. There's a chair and a steering wheel. Yeah, it's got a very smooth design. I like it. Um, license plate on the back and front. And I think it just got a really good looking design. It looks very nice. So, that's that car. Uh, this is like the prisoner transport van, I guess. Uh, okay, sorry guys, my battery on my camera died. Um, so this van, I was talking about this van, right? Yeah, I don't remember. Um, well, it's got doors that open. And you can put a guy inside. So let's put Officer Bishkuko Haas in there. I, I'm saying that because he's got that face. But he does. It's also the face that comes in the small car, in case you wanted to know. The interior here has got the yellow seat and the yellow steering wheel. And the door's closed. It's got the two on it. And this ladder thingy right here. And you can open the back of this. And I tried to put the dog in there and he didn't fit, so I guess I'll try this guy now. Yeah, okay, he fits. You know, kinda. That would look kinda awkward, like you're just driving down the street. Uh, is there a person in the back of that van? Yeah, that's kinda weird. Um, yeah, well, it's got these windows, and you can see the guy back there. Close it. It says police right there. Pretty much everything you see here is sticker. 
I'm thinking there might be like one printed piece in this set, and that might be it. But I don't know, I don't remember. Well, yeah, there's the van. Hope you enjoyed the van. Um, uh, well, here, here's a bicycle. A uh, white bicycle. So that's new. It'd be gonna stand right there, stand right there. And you can make somebody ride it. Let's put that on. So he can ride his bicycle, and it sticks in between the studs. So, got a little sign right there that says police and street line. A bush. Might have already said that, I don't remember. Uh, there's a sign right here that says police. And there's O1 and O2 on there. And all of these out of the way so you can see the garage. Um, as you can see, you can see in the top there, but I guess that's just to help it open, because otherwise it wouldn't be able to open. And you can grab it by this little handle right here, and push it up. Isn't that just awesome? Okay, so, you can also pull them back down from inside here. Well, I guess first I should show you, you can park your car in there. Oh, wow, my hand and coordination is off. Okay, there's some lights right there, and a little bar. Your fence thing. Okay, so let's move up here to the stairs. Stairs look nice, I must admit. With the design they did. Okay, so over here we got some stuff. You see this thing? Now you move this thing. And you can see the door right there? Well, this is how the prison cell doors open. So you see it's like closed there, and now it's open. And over here, this is open, and you push that in, and it's closed, open, closed, open, closed, open, closed. So, I like this design from the old one, it looks pretty good. Um, here, I'll just open that again for you. Open, close, close, open, close, open. Yep, um, there's some search lights up here. The, back and forth. the satellite. Um, a little alarm clock. Uh, I might have already talked about those, but mm, there you go. Me and my short term memory. Okay, so here's the inside of one of the cells. Um, you got a bed and a toilet. Now, what Lego wants you to do is like have your guy in here. And he opens up his bed like that. Okay, there's, there's the bed. And inside here, you keep the crowbar. And then you give your Lego guy the crowbar, and he somehow magically breaks his toilet and is free. And he can slide down this little pole to freedom. Yeah. Uh, it's the same for this other side. You can open up the bed and do this with the um, toilet. Although I think this side is kind of stupid because you slide down this pole into the dog area and he gets eaten or whatever. So eaten or you know caught by the cops. There's a cop office right over there. Here's the inside of the garage. There's the pen for the dog and nothing really down here much. Stick around the side right there. He's got his days. He's been in here I guess and some chalk drawings of a house and a stick person and a cat. Same on this side. And then that one pulls that. Okay, and just that pole you can slide down. Pipe drain. Um, yeah, okay, as I mentioned, this is a dog pen. Uh, here's the dog. You can put him in here. And that's where he lives. This thing opens so you can get inside to the dog and let him in his pen and whatever. There's a plate right there with a bone on it. I think this bone is a very cool piece. I've not seen it before. And it just looks very nice. Very nice for the dog. Just your classic bone. I believe this might be a new piece, but I, I've never seen it before. So, it's new to me at least. Um, 
Here's the bottom floor of the actual police station. There's something right there. I guess it might be a TV or something. I, I don't know. Maybe just a random board. There's a picture right there. It looks like a street race in the bottom left corner. On the top left corner, there's a thing that says alarm. Top right corner, there's a map. And bottom right corner, there's wanted posters. Yeah, you can't see because of my camera, but oh well. Little number pad right there. This chair, which stays. It's got a coffee mug on it. There's the top floor. There is a key hanging right here. You do get a spare key. Um, this leads down to the prison area. You can see that. See? Yeah, over here. Um, right here's where they took the mug shots. There's this cool thing. It's like one Lego brick, two Lego brick, three Lego brick, four Lego brick, five Lego brick, six Lego brick. So I guess the average Lego person would be five and a half Lego bricks tall. Um, back there, I'll show you. I'll show you that back there in a minute. There's more wanted posters on there. This old style light thingy, and there's a camera back there. Here, I'll just take this off. Camera right there. And the police can take his mugshot. Because that's what the police are for. Um, upstairs, I guess this is kind of like the break room slash evidence room, maybe. Um, there's a table right here. It's got a $100 bill on it and a really snazzy looking gem. This guy seemed to have shot it back behind this window. Let's see. Little diamond. A uh, blue chair. Blue chair back there too. This th this thing right here is cool. Um it's like a water thingy. And there's a coffee mug up here that actually goes in there. So you can Yeah. My hand eye coordination is really off today. Um uh, yeah, get get his water refilled and he can drink it at his desk. Yeah. And there's a coffee machine with a coffee mug, of course. Stick. Stick, I say. All right. Mm, turn to the top. Uh, there's a helic pad right here, which is really nice from the old one because that one, old one did not have it. An antenna, and another antenna should be right there, but it fell over. There, big antenna. And there's some lights right there and right there. Okay, so we turn our attention to the side. There's nothing in here, but you can see inside the police station. And there's the detective guy sitting on his bicycle. There's a computer right here. This is a printed piece. And I told you there was at least one printed piece here. And the keyboard is a printed piece. And there's a coffee mug. Um. Up here is kind of like evidence, I guess. There's a light. And on this board, there is a map and like a little sticky notepad with a pen, which you can't obviously see. But I'll get it out anyway so you can see it. And he's got that nice blue chair. Alright, um, I guess I think I've said everything. Pretty much everything. There's a searchlight up there. Yeah. Um. So if I missed anything, don't blame me. My memory is very off today, as you might have noticed. Um. Real quick, here's the instructions. I'm only going to show you the instructions because there's a comic in one of them. You have four instruction books: one for the car, one for the, or two for each car, one for the prison bay area, and one for the actual building right here. Um. Here's the extra pieces. You get another antenna and another key and some grass. I probably didn't put these in the right place. I'm pretty sure those aren't supposed to be extra. Extra handcuffs. And I'll just move these out of the way. So, move that. And this one has the comic in it. 
so I'll just open that up and get to it. Okay, so he's delivering the cop. He's delivering the bad guy to jail. Um, here these guys are waiting for him, and he's going in his cell. There's the doggy, and there he goes in his cell. Slam, yeah. And the doggy is staring at him. He's like, hmm. And he opens up his bed, and there's a crowbar inside. And he's opening up his toilet. And the dog starts barking, and the guy grabs his bone and looks outside with it. There's a dog at the foot of the stairs. And the guy slides down the pole. And he goes over here. And he's so happy because he's free from jail and he's running away. And there's the doggy coming down the stairs. And now he's barking at the police officer. And this guy's coming around the corner and there's the police sitting there waiting for him. And then the um, robber's like, hey, because the police are capturing him. And there he gets captured again. And there's an ad for the comic builder. Um, there is going to be a Lego City video game, I just noticed that. Um, here, I'll show you. Mm, not this one. This one. Lego City video game. From Autumn 2010. And there's a robber guy in a police car, and... Yeah. Uh, box real quick. Now, I'm gonna do one of the boring stuff last. Because I know you guys would probably want the boring stuff last. Um... Age recommendation, 6 to 12, set number 7498, police station, 783 pieces, modular build for an easy start. And it's got this guy running away with the diamond, and he's holding the wanted poster, you know, his box art, your average box art. And there's like, um, action shots, yeah and the other sets. I did get the minifigure collection for Christmas as well, so I'll do a review on that later. And there's the guys running away, the garage, and you know, all that stuff. And Hey! So, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. My review on the police station. New 2011 police station. 2010 winter, whatever. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And see you later.